Hi, it's Neuromo, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to ensure your demographics are matched between the two groups you have and filter out unwanted variables. So I'm just going to bring up the spreadsheet really quickly so we can have a quick look at it. So you can see all the participants are the rows, so they're all the X's, and then all of the features or variables will be in the Y columns. And that's the pretty much the setup you should have for any kind of machine learning model or just any kind of data set in general ever. Now that we've seen our spreadsheet looks fantastic and is ready to be loaded in our environment, we can go ahead and load in the data uh, using this read.csv command. So you have to make sure that the data file is a CSV. There's also a read xlsx, so you can read in Excel spreadsheets. And so the main thing that you're going to have to change here is the file pathway. So it won't be able to find the file if it doesn't have the correct pathway. So wherever you put your uh, CSV file, either in your downloads folder or if you moved it somewhere else, uh, make sure it has the exact path. All right, so I'm just going to run the code right here really quick. And then I want to take a look at the HCP data frame. And you can see that it has both males and females, and it has all the participants in the data set that we have. And then I want to take a look at the female HCP data frame. And you can see that it only contains females. And so what I did is I just filtered out all the males and created a new data frame called FHCP. And I want to do the same for the males. You can see that there's all males. And if you just um, open up the sex variable, you can see that there's only males and then reverse for the female data set. To see if there are any statistical differences between the age, ages of the two groups, I want to just do a two-sample t-test really quick. And you can see right away there's already a very small t-statistic of point, negative 0.28. And then the p-value is 0.7786, so we do not reject the null hypothesis. And I can conclude that the ages between the two groups are sufficiently the same. It's important to check these covariates are equal across both groups to ensure that the trained model is not being driven by differences in the covariates age and sex in this case, and is truly being driven by the features we care about, morphometry. And just really quickly, I'm going to set these variables to null because we will not be using them in our model.